Of course you can make videos with Canva and you can make so many different types of videos. Let me show you how. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a video that will look so professional, no one will believe you made it by yourself in less than 20 minutes using only Canva. When creating a video, bear in mind three important ingredients. Always use timing, animation, and music. These are your must-haves in every video to make it look and feel as professional as possible. For this tutorial, I created this design on a 1080 over 1920 pixel canvas. What I did is I created the first slides of my story. This is your script. Remember that when you want to tell a story, be sure that you are on top of your script and you know exactly what message you want to send out and how you're going to do it. So now what we're going to do is duplicate some pages, add some videos, add some music, and define our timing and animations. So my first page is the most important one. This is your introduction. These are the crucial first seconds that your audience is anticipating to see what it is exactly that they are about to watch. So usually I give the first slide about six to eight seconds, which is enough time, not too long and not too short. In this case, I am going to define my timing to only three seconds. And the reason is because I am going to duplicate this page and create some motion to it. I am going to define my second page to five seconds, which is usually what you will find under your stopwatch here. But I'm going to add something interesting on the second page. So I created my imaginary nonprofit organization, which is called Dream Big. And what we do is we teach children about space and empower them through our workshops. So what I want to do is to create the illusion as if my Dream Big logo is actually turned on with a neon effect. So the first page will be a plain logo and the second page, I am just going to go to effects and click on neon. Now to make it look as if it is actually lit by someone, I am going to click on the background, click on animate and go to the neon animation. This will make my logo flicker as if someone is turning on the light. Now one more thing that we can add to the second slide that will flicker with this neon effect, some smoke. So let's take the smoke and maybe flip it, turn it around a bit and position this to the back. Perhaps this needs to be a little smaller. And with this, I can create another interesting motion to my video. Let's see if this will work better with fire. I'm just curious to see. Perhaps we can also add fire. Let's flip this upside down and position this backward. What do you say? I think this is kind of cute. Now let's go to my third slide. Here I also kept consistent and the word you is also with a neon effect because this is my story. It's all about you. So here I have this very plain black background and what I am going to do is I'm going to add a video in my video. Don't be too hesitant about adding videos in your videos. This is not overdoing it. On the contrary, this will add a lot of interesting motion to your video. So let's go to the videos tab and I'm just going to type stars. And let's drag the first one and see what happens. Okay, this is nice, but it's a little too colorful for me. So let's go with something a little more subtle. Okay, I like this one. This is not too dramatic, but still you do notice that something is moving around your screen. So now let's go to the white bar and you can see that the length of this video is 9.7. This is a little too long for everything that's going on on this page. So let's just click on the scissors and trim this video to five seconds. Five seconds will always be a good timing for your page. 
Let's click on done and move to the next slide. Okay, now here I have just the same thing duplicated. So now maybe we can just add some spaceship or a planet of some sort. So let's just go and search for planet and filter this to only animated planets. Okay, now I think this would be a good one. Nice use of colors. And let's leave that here and make sure that we have no animation here because I don't want this to be a neon animation. And my timing is set to six. This is because that is the length of this planet. So I'm just going to shorten it to five. And that's it. Now let's go to our next page. And here I have a photo which I used the transparent feature just to make it not so bright. And what I'm going to do here is use the new photo animation. So let's go to animate and let's try out the zoom animation. Let's go with the flow. And how about the rise? Okay, they all look nice, but I think I'm going to go with a zoom. So this adds a lot of depth into my video. And that's it. You know what? Let's go back. I think that on this one, on this page, we can also set some animation to the text box. If I click on the background and go to animate, you'll see that the animation called block will be happening only on my text boxes. This will not happen on my stickers or other elements I have on the page. So this is also nice and creates a lot of things that are going on and that are interesting. So going back to my last slide, this would be my outro. Will you join us? Some kind of call to action. So what I would want to do here is also drag a video, but this time I will take something a little bit more dramatic, something that can be a good closure to my video. So I did find something under starlight. And that was a moon video. Sometimes you don't really have to go with what is obvious and search for moon you can search for other words and there is one video here that i really really like there it is and the only problem with this video is that it is 30 seconds long so it's a little bit too long although i do want this kind of dramatic closure actually 30 seconds is not too bad i think that in the case where this is my last slide people can decide for how long they want to watch this video and see what's happening to the moon. So in this case, I don't think it would be too dramatic. So now the best fun part happens and this is to pick your music. Music can make such a difference when you have it on your video, but you have to pick the right music. You have to be complementing your story. So if you're doing a very happy video, you can't use a mellow music because it doesn't go hand in hand with what you're telling. So in this case, I'm going to look for something that is not too spooky nor too sad, but then again, not very perky and childish and happy. So I will have to find something in between that will be on one hand serious, on the other hand, very light, easy going and fun to listen to. So I'll just click on the audio tab and I already did my homework and I found something when I was searching for stars. You'll be surprised by the music that you find just by searching for words. So under stars, I found something that is called visionary and I can also search for it just by typing in visionary. There it is. And I'm just going to add this to my design. Now you should listen to this before and decide where you want the music to start. If it's in the middle from the end or from the start and set the volume button to the maximum or to the minimum, depending on what you think would work best. And that's it. In this case, I'll just leave my volume to the max because I don't have any voiceover or anything else going on. And now all I have to do is to preview my video and if needed, make adjustments. You download this as an MP4 and you have your video ready to go made by you.
That's it. How cool is going to be your next video using Canva? Share it with us in the comments below. We'd really love to see them. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye.